All right, hello YouTube. I am currently on my way to the store. Ashanti is out of milk. So I gotta make this run. Then in about an hour, I have to leave from here to get her from daycare. So the last video I made, I was trying to do the video every day in April and that did not work out in any sense of the form. <laughs> Pretty much, I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, I was just too busy back then. So, there we go. Um, right after that video, um, I had, well, during the VEDA, I had posted that I was starting a new job. It actually was okay. Like I, I you know, I was working full time, eight to five every day. Ashanti was not in daycare, so that's where I left off. Ashanti actually didn't get approved for the daycare I had selected for her in March until the end of April, and her first day of school was until the beginning, until May first, I believe. So she started school way later than expected and I started working April 3rd so what that meant was she had to go to her uh, paternal uncle's house to be watched which uh, they live in the opposite direction of my job they live well anyway uh, long story short by the time she got approved my attendance was shit shitty and so um, what ended up happening was her daycare is right up the street from my job and by the time she got approved they had already um dinged me oh wow these people are driving like assholes okay i have severe road rage which is probably why i shouldn't vlog and drive but anyway um and i have a hands-free device like a car event mount that i bought from amazon from the coupon group anyway so um i was working and taking her to daycare but by the time she started daycare, I had to switch around our routine. And even though her daycare was up the street from my job, it just wasn't working out to get to the job, to work for on time. I wake up at six, I'd have to do her hair. So you know how before, you know, everyone out here has kids, but before you can do things with children, you have to develop a routine and it just wasn't there. It wasn't enough time. My initial plan was to have her in school all of March of 2017 so that we could get adjusted by the time I started April 3rd of 2017. That didn't end up happening. So by June, middle of June, they fired me. They said they just couldn't deal with all my absences. Oh, and another thing was, um, I, in order to get her approved for daycare, I was doing through the county. So even though I was working full time, I still was eligible for, um, uh, where daycare her daycare whatever to be covered through the county and I had to go to several appointments for that during work and they pretty much said that's not an excuse also I kept getting sick so when you work in a daycare remember remember daycare after school care you're gonna get sick so I caught the flu my first week I showed it to work with it for three days and by the fourth day which was a Thursday I ended up having to go to urgent care and missing work but I showed up the Friday well because I missed that Thursday they dinged me again and so it just it the whole environment to there um, at the job and I'm reflecting now because uh, I have had some time to think they were all gossipy we had a, a male teacher there who um, was married to another man and all the co-workers and there's nobody innocent there they were all just yeah, 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 about it and it's like you guys have never been around people who are um in same-sex relationships like and this one lady she and she bragged about being for the com being with working for the company for 20 years and no one could get her fired she has the ability to fire get anyone she wants fired she wasn't even a supervisor and so it was hostile it was very hostile catty and um i started to um 
just think like what I'm trying to say is like they started to say my work performance was bad the only thing that was bad about my work performance was that I was getting there maybe like 10 15 minutes late that was it with the kids I can deal with the kids it's the adults that I can't deal with and so um it just was bad so since then oh god I want to keep this under five minutes um since then I was staying at my parents house everyone knows that but also my younger sister and her whole family was staying with my parents house which could have been another reason why getting Ashanti in her routine when she started daycare was bad because we had nine people using one bathroom at the same time so long story short I was there my sister ends up moving out the same day I got fired <laughs> and then um I had applied for the wait list at a low income a low income apartment complex it, and I wasn't expecting a call back because Sacramento is having a really bad housing crisis so I wasn't expecting a call back and I had put my name on the wait list in March again everything happened in March because that's when we moved out the other apartment and we were staying in motels oh, oh goodness I didn't even see the handicap here we lived in motels it was all bad so during that bad time i went and put my name on a wait list for an apartment and they gave me a call back the beginning of july so like two three weeks after i lost a job i got a call and it took you guys it took three good weeks back and forth with paperwork back and forth with paperwork because it's low income and they have to verify uh, every they have to dot your I's and cross your T's and there's no if something came back that you didn't dot an I It gets rejected and sent back. So that took three weeks. They verified everything and on August 7th 2017 I moved into my own one bedroom apartment oh. So yes, the Shanti and I have been living on our own again, and it's been good um Right now she's at daycare. I want to keep this video real short, but I need to come up and update and let you guys know what's happening. Go ahead and record another one at a different time, but thank you for watching.